<coughs> Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between partial mole and complete mole. This is the number two video of the trophoblastic diseases series. As we have discussed in the pathophysiology, the partial mole contains triploid genetic material that is can be a 69 XXY or 69 triple X. In complete mole, we have a diploid genetic material in most of the cases, 90% cases, 46 XX. As we know that the partial mole, both parental and maternal origin genetic material is there. But in case of complete mole, only parental origin genetic material is there. In partial mole, because of the, uh, the genetic material comes from both mother and father, some amount of normal pregnancy can be seen. For example, some willies are present, some fetal parts can be present and some blood vessel can be present. But in case of complete mole, no blood with though no blood vessel, no willies, and no fetal part. In case of partial mole, we see a trophoblastic inclusion body and scap scalloping of the chorionic willy, which is not seen in complete mole. The grape-like structures are there in both the uh, moles, but it is more in complete mole the uterine height just because of the uh, grape like structures and the mass is more in complete mole the uter uterine height will be higher than the gestational age which is not which is not uh, true with the partial mole it can be equal or it can be small even now the complications are same but more pro prominent in case of complete like thyrotoxicosis, preeclampsia, hyperemesis gravidum. If we see on ultrasound the complete mole, we have a typical snowstorm appearance can be seen. But in partial mole, not a such amount of uh, this um, tumor tissue can be there, or sometimes we confused with missed abortion because some fetal parts also seen. The HCG level increases in both, but in complete mole it is like very very high in range of lakhs. Because of HCG is more in complete mole, the thecal lutein cyst is seen bilaterally, where the thecal lutein cyst is not seen in case of partial mole because of the, uh, not that much level of HCG. What is the chances of persistent GTD? It is only 3 to 5 percent in case of partial mole, but in case of complete mole, it is 15 to 20 percent. Now, friend, this is very important. What are the chances of choriocarcinoma? In partial mole, it is less than 1 percent, but in complete mole, it is more than 4 percent. So, this is what the problem is. So, this is the difference between two moles, is the video number two. In video number three, we will go with the management. Thank you.